मित्रांनो नमस्कार वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर दॅट इज द इंट्रोडक्टरी लेक्चर एग्रोमेट्रोलॉजी बिकॉज ऑफ द टाइम लिमिटेशन ऑफ द सेशन कॉन्ट कम्प्लिटेड द पार्ट ऑफ फुल लेक्चर सो रिमेनिंग स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर going to cover uh, to the 2 days lecture so the agrometrology status scope and application is the content of 2 days lecture as uh, we have seen in the last lecture agriculture meteorology is the science is the discipline which study those aspects of meteorology which have direct relevance to the agriculture so agriculture meteorology is defined as the study of those aspects of meteorology which have direct relevance to the agriculture and objective of agrometeorology uh, to know and define the effects of meteorological and hydrogeological factors on agriculture and to apply knowledge of the atmosphere to the practical agricultural use today the uh, two three terminologies is uh, regularly used by so many authorities and all the expertise that is the precision farm Uh, that is a climate smart agriculture so without understanding the meteorology weather climate and uh, its relationship with the agricultural field it may be the crop uh, road development or the animal road development or aquatic or any agricultural sector uh, the impact relation of the weather phenomena could not be understand then it is not possible to do uh, the statement or to do the practically the precision farming or climate smart agriculture or mitigation and adaptation for the um, willingness of the human beings is not possible so uh, the fine uh, objective of agrometeorology is ultimately to meteorological and hydrological knowledge of life of the agriculture uh, to improve the quantity as well as the quality of the agricultural crops so for this purpose uh, we have to take the review about the status of the agricultural crops ah uh, this slide is also important uh, for the examination the point of view of the answers right in the examination of the semester in examination or the midterm examination or the different types of the agriculture related uh, maybe srf srb or the banking other competitive examination this slide is very important so imd uh, means indian meteorological department it established in 1875 and uh, it sits headquarters at mosam bhavan new delhi iitm Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology located at Pashan Pune is the headquarter office and agricultural meteorology division started in 30 1932 under ICR and becoming a part of department of IMD 1942 so agricultural meteorology division started initially in the 1932 under the umbrella of ICR and it is transferred to the department of I am in 1943. So initially, it is led by Dr. L. A. Ramdas. Uh, he is called as the father of agriculture meteorology in India. And then, National Council of Agriculture 1976 recommended a separate department of agriculture meteorology under the in uh, state agriculture universities and ICR. 
and the uh, education has started. That is the post-graduation and doctoral degree program in agriculture and college and physics has started uh, under the umbrella of NCR and in the different uh, state agriculture in all cities. And in the Maharashtra, there is a program is running of the uh, post-graduation MSc Agricultural Metrology in the uh, Mahatma Pule Kusitavit Travri under uh, Pune Agriculture College in Pune and Vasant uh, Rao Naik Maratwada Kusitavit Parbani department is located in the Parbani. And AICRPAM, that is All India Coordinated Research Project on Agrometrology. Uh, it started uh, in 1985 uh, to in the Krida Hyderabad. Krida means Central Research Institute for Trial and Agriculture, Hyderabad. And also the ICRISAT uh, Research on Agrimet initiated in 1970 of uh, the it research means International uh, Crop Research Institute for then WMO, Gino, World Meteorological Organization, is the uh, World Day celebrating the year in uh, 23rd March and headquarter at Geneva. Uh, then, Department of Science and Technology started the Mission Mode Project under NCMRWF. National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting. NCMRWF means National Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasting. Started mission mode project in 1989 for 127 zones in India, and it is transferred uh, under the uh, MOUs to IMD from 2007 and 8, and the Agro advisories based on the weather forecasting, that's agrometer advisory services started initially by the name of experimental agrometer advisory services. And now, after that, the name of the project has changed integrated agrometer advisory services. And from 2013 14, maybe, or it may be there 12 13, uh, the Name of the project has changed the Gamin Kursimo Seva, and it is working for the in about 135 districts, the sorry, uh, more zones in the India near about uh, 325 to 350 districts in India, and also the uh, started different Kursivi Gan Kendra. India, uh, they are provided the subject matter specialist to one agrometrologist. In this way, the agriculture metrology has now uh, working all over the India in a mass uh, quantity and also uh, the benefit found observed beneficial to the farming community uh, to some extent uh, increase the yield, save the water in the extremities, uh, crop save from the extremities to some extent. And their uh, animal activity also getting the benefit of the agrometrology services. So, scope of agrometrology, uh, that is scope of the characterization of agriculture, agricultural climate for determining the crop growing season and delineation of agroclimatic zone. Then, Weather based crop management practices like sowing, agriculture operations, nutrient application, irrigation, scheduling, plant protection, harvesting, post harvest, and uh, storage, marketing, and processing, etc. Then, a uh, scope of agrometeorology for developing the crop with a relationship. There is a uh, crop calendar. This is best crop calendar like. Crop zone, specific crop cultivation uniformly on a large area. Uh, if you are can able to decide and contact, there is scope to contact farming is possible. Farmer producer company uh, 
sustainability crop pruning is very important uh, in short uh, you can say to study the climate resources of a given area of effective crop planning evolve weather based effective farmer operations to study the crop weather relative forecast crop yield based on the climatic and spectral indices using the remote sensing to study the relationship between weather factors and incidence of pest and disease on crops to delineate the crop agroecological agroclimatic zones for uh, defining the agroclimatic analogs to make effective and fast transfer of uh, technology for improving the crop yields uh, for improving the crop yields uh, the delineate of crop uh, micro agroclimatic zone is also possible and it is so to prepare crop weather diagrams and calendars to develop the crop weather models for assessing the potential yield drought monitoring and management uh, then uh, extremities weather extremities uh, monit uh, management weather based agrodoses for sustainable crop yield uh, in the, this uh, different sectors in different areas uh, agrometeorology large scope then application of agricultural meteorology already uh, some scope has uh, not fulfilled but it is uh, partially fulfilled and uh, the workers co workers and also the farmers are taking the benefits so uh, applying the agricultural meteorology knowledge so characterization of agricultural climate for determining crop growing season climatic crop planning crop manage on uh, management on the weather based that is sowing intercultural operation fertilizer application plant protection irrigation scheduling harvesting then storing marketing our farmers are doing now on the basis of the agroclimatic agricultural meteorological information then microclimatic uh, research that is the climate crop relationship crop monitoring crop modeling and yield forecasting uh, is also using uh, it's also the applications in agricultural sector uh, then management according to the climate extremities uh, it is possible up to this certain uh, limit up to the some extent to avoid the extremities of the soil by mitigation uh, like the artificial rainfall then by the hill guns likewise and adaptation and by adopting the changing the climate and uh, if uh, the, we know farmers uh, know uh, the extremities uh, as ha happening it will be uh, appearing then he will be uh, doing some measurements that is on the level of uh, pre uh, disaster that is uh, pre extremities uh, prevailing that is protection then during the uh, extremities observing in that stage and uh, after post extremities water balance and drought management is uh, now based on the application of knowledge then delineation of agroclimatic zone livestock production forest uh, production and fire uh, prevention as above said like the agro advisory services uh, thank you I hope the, all these. Uh, I hope uh, you like this uh, the presentation and lecture. Uh, if you feel it is good, useful, then you like the video, subscribe the channel. Thank you very much for listening and watching my lecture.